Hello friends, so today in this video we will be going through the C problem from the latest code forces round 7 and 13 problem name AV palindrome. So though this problem is not too difficult to understand and also to get the concept of it but there are some few test cases which you have to understand which might get you a wrong answer. So you have to first understand the different test cases, few the test cases are also given in the example codes and the test cases so you can get the hint of what are the corner test cases. But even though there are some one or two test cases you have to also get out which are not in the test cases the example test cases and if you get all the test cases right then it is fine so i'll tell you how to approach such type of problem it just states that you are given a string s consisting of zeros ones and question mark and you have to replace down the question mark with zeros and one such that the final string should become a palindrome okay but now the condition is there is also given a and b which means that the string which is the final string you have to replace the question marks with zeros or one which is fine but in the end the final string which is a palindrome should be having exactly a number of zeros and b number of ones so you have to also such that strategically replace zeros and ones such that in the end the string which is formed s string which is formed should have exactly a number of zeros and b number of ones and if you can form out such a string then you have to print out that string else you have to print out minus one that that's not possible now if you can see the different test cases then the first thing which comes to my mind is can't i just like there are if they are both a question mark at the same point so for a string to a palindrome what you have to ensure that if like it's an even string or an odd string let's assume that it's an even string one two three four five six seven eight if it's an even string then you just have to ensure that both of these characters are same both of these characters are the same the same and the same okay if they both are filled then it is no problem if they both are like only one is filled with one then you have to ensure that this should also be one if this is zero zero then this should be zero also if both are question mark then you can fill it with anything out but now the catch is if you trade from left to right and let's assume that you found out some question marks uh the 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 test case which got me worried is let's assume that sorry yeah so let's assume that i have some boxes like this and uh, let's assume that i have two question marks like this okay and uh, like if i have these question marks and these are also question marks okay and then what you can see here is like then this is one this is one and this is question mark okay so somewhat like this now let's assume that you have like because these are two question mark okay now let's assume that i have the chance to fill out these question marks with ones or zero whatever i want okay so let's assume that now i have uh, so i can fill out let's assume this by one also so i have and these two are also one so i have three ones I have three ones and I can fill out in this string and two zeros. So two zeros. I have two zeros and three ones. So whenever I see two question marks, I thought that okay, why not uh, fill it with like uh, ones? Okay, so you can fill it with ones. Okay, now I have two again question marks and uh, one is not possible. So okay, you you just fill out with uh, like zeros and then the rest one is one so it is like fine here but uh, it's not fine in every case what i what i mean by this is like whenever that there are zeros like you have both question marks you have the like the option to fill out both of them greedily like you can put them both of these zeros zeros and put them one one okay but let's assume that i have some case in which some both like there is some string which has one one at this point okay then that means that i have to put one one also at some left part but i have two question marks like this one before it and one before it okay and then i have some zeros and i have some ones so if i see both of these question marks and i have two ones which are which are left with me i can put these ones here i hope you get the point and then when i come to this point i have two again question marks i i should have put both of these ones here so that they, they should match with this okay so let's assume that this should match with this this should match with this 
and there is two question marks here okay now i have two ones left okay so i and these are two question marks so if i have these two question marks then i do not know i can put it anyway i can put it one also so if i put one which i have left then the ones are over now but now these should match with this and there is no ones left so you will cancel this out but uh, if there are some zeros left then you can put either the zeros here and then put one one in here so it means that first it is always beneficial to fill out those uh, positions in which there are some like either the left or the left or the right part is filled what i mean by this is if there is some string which is uh, given to you let's assume that this is one and this is matched with this this is matched with this this is matched with this and this is exclamation mark okay and this is like zero uh, this is like ex exclamation exclamation and this is one and zero one and exclamation so as you can see this is one and exclamation so it's beneficial to fill this one so this should also be one so you can easily fill this one which is fine now if both of them are exclamation then just leave it out you don't have to fill it right now then if you again find out one exclamation and question mark then again fill it with one you just have to ensure that there should be at least this amount of ones which is present for you if they are present then obviously you can fill them out after filling all the pairs which is at least one is present and other is question mark you only have the pairs which are only question marks like the pairs which are only question marks now you can readily fill them either one or one or zero and zero i hope you get the point so it means that first fill out all the pairs which are either question mark and zero like either one is question mark and other is like the number is given to you then try to fill out both of them because they should be filled out first because the pair should be uh, according to that number only but if when they are filled then the rest of the number should be filled greedily now you have a string which is all filled up if you have a string which is all filled up then do you think that the answer is complete no because that is a one test case you have to see that let's assume that i have a equal to five and b equal to six okay and then let's assume that uh, like after filling out though like and there are originally some ones which are present there is some string okay let's assume that this string is four length and then it it has all ones okay but the but the question statement states that a should be equal to three and b should be equal to one which means that there should be three zeros and b on only one ones but this string has already the whole characters which are filled so this is not valid now because in the end it should be palindrome it is a palindrome but still the condition is not met so the answer is false also so you also have to check that in the end when the whole string is filled out whether it is a valid string and also like whether you have the string which is formed with you it should be a palindrome if it is not a palindrome then the answer is false also uh, the te other test case can be let's assume that you are only filling out the positions which are question mark and like both of the pairs are question mark one pair is question mark or not but you don't care about the position which are already filled maybe this one and this like maybe the question statement which is given to you you are given that uh, like this is question mark this is question mark this is question mark but this is one and zero like the prompt statement originally has one and zero at this position so it means that like this whatever you fill in this position it it will obviously give you a wrong answer so it is also beneficial to check in the end before printing out the answer that whether after filling out the question marks whether the string is a palindrome or not if it is palindrome then it's good else if it's not a palindrome then the answer is minus one also you have to check that because you have filled everything with a's and like total number of a and b then you have to also check out that uh, like whether in the end a should become equal to 3 and b should also become equal to 0 which means that like i have used all a's and all b's now because i have because you have to given that in the problem that i have to use 5 a's and 6 b's so i have used all of them in the string so if i've used all of them then i have to ensure that because i have filled them i should also update them so let's assume that if i have these question marks i fill them with two ones or like two zeros then i will uh, like subtract out this with two so that now three zeros are left which i can also update okay so in the end after updating out the whole string you have to also check that out that whether the string becomes like this a and b the frequencies of zeros and ones should become zero so these are different test cases you have to write them down so you can understand i will show the code part now you can also play around the code if you have some doubts i have the code will be in the description so uh, though the code looks longer but it's not too difficult i'll tell you in simple terms so you have to iterate over the the a and b are given a number of zeros and ones and this is c which will count out how many question marks are there okay so this will iterate over the whole string and find out 
so as you can see this a and b which is given to me are a total number of ones and zero they should be in the string okay but let's assume that in the original string there are some zeros and some ones which are already present so the question marks should be filled with the left amount of zeros and ones so you have to also ensure that the final string has zeros and ones which is equal to a and b but if there are already present a and b then i have to subtract them down i hope you understand because if the string all originally has some zeros and ones and my a is equal to let's assume three then i have to only fill the question marks now so i have to ensure that how many ones which are left to me i can fill so i have to select subtract out the ones which are already present in the string so i will iterate over the whole string and find out how many zeros and ones are already there if i found out a zero then subtract out it from a because now my a should be equal to five but now because one zero is already present uh, i should not that use that zero again and if i found out a question mark i will update my c which means how many question marks are there if there are no question mark which means that the string is already filled then i have two options the first option is if the string is already filled then whether it is a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome then it's good else if it's not a palindrome just return minus one there's also one more case which, which which you can see in the examples that the string which is given to you is palindrome but the a and b which is given to you are not like they are not matching out with the string which is given to you which means that like which i've told you let's assume that it is given that like a should be equal to three and b is equal to one but the string doesn't match out the, the the problem it means as you can see the string is already filled it has one 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 which is like a parent row but still a and b are not matching out so i have to also ensure that a and b should also match because i'm subtracting out a and b if they do not become zero they are greater than zero then obviously the answer minus one and else if both of the conditions are filled then answer is true this condition is only valid for c equals zero which means that there is no question marks now if there are question marks there are two cases the first case is i have to only filled out the uh, the click the pairs which is one question mark and other is not question mark one is question mark and other is not question mark then i have to check that okay if one is question mark other is not question mark the one which is question mark okay the one which is not question mark which is like the the one like this is not question mark the one which is not question mark let's assume it is zero so the, the one which is question mark should also be zero so if this is zero then i have to ensure that okay a should be greater than zero then i then only i can put there zero so if a, a greater than zero then i can put a zero at that point and subtract out minus one else if the other one is zero and there is no zero left i cannot replace this question mark so i will return minus one else if this right hand side is one and some b is present which means that some ones are present i can replace it out then i will mark out this s of i with one and subtract out b from it and then or else the answer is minus one we'll do the same for the like if the like as you can see if the left hand side is a question mark and the right side is not question mark like the pair wise then we'll do the same thing again that's the code for just filling out the uh, the pairs with in which one is question mark and other is not question mark okay and then i have the pairs which are left which are only both of, of them are question marks so we'll again iterate over the whole string and find out the pairs which are both question marks now you can greedily fill out if both are question marks then we have to check that okay if at least a should be greater than zero which means that if i have to fill both of this question mark with zero then which means that the present number of zeros i can fill should be greater than or equal to zero if they are present then fill both of them with zero and subtract out a minus one a minus equal to two which means that two zeros are used we'll do the same thing for ones else if this that's not possible then the answer is minus one now as you can see i have filled out the part which is like for both even part but because for odd string there is one center question mark is also left so if the string is odd then one center question mark is also left because i have not touched about that if the center question mark is also left we have to also ensure that if the center is a question mark then we have to ensure that okay if center is question mark and a is greater than zero which means that there is some zeros which is left just mark the center as zero and subtract out minus one, minus which means that i have used one zero then if the center is question mark and the one like one one is present then mark the center as one and subtract out b minus minus else if nothing is present then the answer is minus one else in the end we have to check that after all this have like all of these filling out both a and b should become zero because i have used i should in the end i should have used all my a's and b's so for the a and b if anyone is greater than zero which means that i haven't used all my a and b then the answer is minus one else 
uh, in the end after filling out everything out we have to also again check that the last final string which is form it is a palindrome because which i have told you maybe the the characters which are already filled they are we have just filled out the question marks part but we haven't checked out that maybe the the parts which are filled uh the the parts which are not filled the numbers which are already there maybe that will form a contradiction and they not will form a palindrome so you have to also again in the end check that the final string should be a palindrome it's not a palindrome then the answer is minus one else after all of these cases the answer is the the string itself i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this there are different test cases you have to see that the code becomes very large but the problem is not too difficult to understand you just have to diff think about different test cases and the code becomes very simple the code will be in the description so if you want to check out check you can check out the code also i'll see the next one till then keep coding and bye